So, today's interesting, because if I, if I show you, by the way, how I mentioned that, you can see my name there, there, and the logo, there you go, that's my name, never have to do this ever again, but, uh, on YouTube, on this video, uh, by, uh, Mr. Uh, Pizza Love Nerd, uh, put in the comments, I'm gonna be real here, I wanna make my own Linux phone. And he replied, go do it, there's nothing bad about having more Linux phones out there. And I basically took that as challenge accepted. <laughs> this. And here's the thing, I didn't just go, okay, I'll just, you know, put down specs for a Linux phone and then, you know, this. I also did a tablet, a smartwatch, and a laptop. Basically, like, Pine 64 style. I do mean that literally, because I basically just went and just looked at all the, like, the whole freaking, like, all the different, like, non-SBC stuff that Pine64 makes. Basically, said so, like, okay, how would I do that? <laughs> I mean, I think it's, like, I think, like, the main reason that I want to, like, have my, make my own Linux phone is that we only have two options, and it basically boils down to cheap quad-core, the Pine Phone, expensive quad core, the Librem 5. And then there's the Pine Tab, which is, you know, budget quad core, and the Pine and the Pine Time, which is a smartwatch, which is a which like I, I can get the freaking dev kit for like twenty five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so uh I just kind of wanted to bring more variety into here. And also, I like Risk Five, so I'm doing Risk Five in here. <laughs> so, I might up do, upload this document later. I don't know. Uh, by the way, I codenamed the uh, custom processors after, after, after our animals. So, Simba is our cat. Uh... Roscoe is like our second biggest dog. Uh, Bella is a Chihuahua, and Tank is our biggest dog, and he's also a lovely boy. <laughs> like seriously, he, like you just you just pet him, you just pet him, and he freaking loves it. <gasps> and he will lick your face off, and he doesn't know per personal space either. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Just this entire document. I even went so far as to doing like scoot, like escape, like SKU stop keeping units or SKUs. Um, and basically, what I did is just S or nothing or X, and that says like the one of like one of three sizes. And then for the ones where you have an option in terms of RAM and NMC, which is the storage, um, which you only have like two of the storage, and then three of the RAM in those cases, but, um, basically I did what, like, what is it, the, like the, like the Latte Panda Alpha, if I remember correctly, does this, but, Latte Panda Alpha, time to go watch an explaining computers video, because I can't remember, nope, 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 nope. Okay, here we go. Okay, oh, they do it the other way around. They do it the other way around. I did it NMC, then RAM. They did RAM, then NMC. Because, like, they have the Latte Panda, Al Latte, Panda Latte Panda Alpha 864, which has 8 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of EMMC. Then they have the 800, which is 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, no MMMC. And then they have the Delta 432. Which is four gigabytes of RAM, thirty-two gigabytes of MMC. So I did it the exact other way around, but whatever, it doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, there's three different sizes for each of the products, so you know you have variety. You have variety, and then each one has a different uh, battery capacity, or at least a battery capacity that I would aim, that I would aim for. I don't know if these are realistic. But this is what I would want. So, the five, like the five inch, and like this is the di diagonal. So the five inch would have a 
4 amp hour or 14.8 watt hour battery and I got the watt hour by basically taking the amp hours and multiplying that by 3.7 which is the you know which is the supply voltage of or like the normal supply voltage of a lithium ion battery so you know there you go that's how I got the watt hours uh, and I'm I'd probably like I probably do like a custom Linux operating system for all of these but I don't know what the name is so I just put question mark question mark question mark <laughs> Um, yeah, and here's just all of the scoos. I don't know the price. Because, like, I could get, like, an, an estimate at least. Like, if I knew, like, what the prices for the different components are. Because, like, I, ha I know what the price, like, the price, like, the part numbers for the RAM and the MMC. But I don't know anything else. Because if you wanted to see the parts... You have to have an account on Samsung Semiconductor's B2B workplace. I don't know how to get that account. <laughs> but, you know, I'm pretty sure you have to go on there in order to see the prices. Which sucks. I wish that was publicly available information, but whatever. It's not my call. <laughs> and also, just for how this custom uh, system on the chip would happen, if I go to my web browser... Uh, there is a certain company called Sci-5, and if you've heard of them before, that's because you probably watched Linus Tech Tips or Level One Techs. Either way, you know this company, and I actually have an account on here, and I use their core designer just for fun. And yeah, they have a they have like a bunch of different Risk V core intellectual property. Here's all the different types, here's the thing, customize it, blah, blah, blah. And then here's stuff you can put in your SOC. So you put like a HBM or high bandwidth memory uh, memory subsystem. You can do interlaking, I don't know what that is. Ethernet, you can put that in there. Uh, USB, uh, DMA controllers, peripherals, which would be like GPIO for like a... Raspberry Pi type thing. Speaking of Raspberry Pi, actually, I have I have one right here. I have one right here. Raspberry Pi. So if you want a GPIO for a Raspberry Pi, Risk Five thing, here you go. That thing's freaking pokey. Probably was probably because I was grabbing onto the freaking. Like I have a heat. I have heat sinks on here. Those. And the freaking pins and the little like solder things on the bottom. These things are kind of pokey. That's <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, they they just have a st bunch of stuff on here. And then you go down a custom SOC, and then like you down you know, like down here uh, embedded MCUs and wearable solutions. So if you uh, so you use a microcontroller for a wearable. So that's why for when we go down to the uh, snap watch by the way all the names are not permanent because I'm bad at naming and even though it's only egotistical if you act egotistical I still think it's egotistical to put my name on products like that or on a company like that just seems egotistical to me even though it's only egotistical if you act <laughs> mouth not cooperating with me. This is why I would be terrible at public speech. I mean, technically this is public speech, but still, my mouth just does not want to cooperate with me. I don't know why. It's just like... I don't know. Also, by the way, I, I just put this in here because it looks pretty awesome, but this part is actually... Like I checked on there, it's in sample production, not mass production. Kind of like with the Librem 5, because it's not going to be, like, the Librem 5 is not going to be mass production until Evergreen Batch. And you know, this specific multi chip package, which is basically memory and storage in one chip, this specific MCP that I have listed here is in sample production, not mass production. So, you know. I think you get what I'm trying to tell you here. 
And, uh, yeah. I probably upped the resolution here, but, uh, whatever. Uh, and then, I don't know what, like, the battery technology would be. It would probably be a lithium polymer, or it could be a lithium ion. I don't know what it is. Hope, I mean, hopefully we get solid state batteries soon, because, I mean, I, that'd be freaking awesome. Because, like, I heard that you get better battery density in those. Like, like that, that'd be sick. That'd be awesome. I would love to have a freaking solid state battery. And then, also... Uh, default operating system, but I d like this one. I really don't know what it is because this is a microcontroller CPU. You can't run Linux on a microcontroller, so you need to you need to make an RTOS for this. You know that's why. Like if you go look at the org slash pine time. There we go, and let it load. You know, we go over here, and, it, and like, it needs to be built. It needs to have an RTOS, because that thing has a Cortex-M4 floating-point CPU in it. You can't run Linux on that. Anyways. Another thing I should probably point out for the normal CPUs, like in the phone and the tablet and the laptop... Uh, is that it's a 8 plus 1. And so, it's basically, as it says here, 8 U54 application cores, which is, you know, the Linux-capable ones, and then a single S51, or in, in this case, S51, uh, monitor core. The monitor core, that basically, as far as I know, that basically handles, like, the boot process. That's basically what that does. And then, you know, similarly for the... For the rot for the Roscoe or the tank, except this time it's U74 application and S7 monitor. They don't actually have an S7 like an official S7 core that lacks floating point, so that's why it's just S7 instead of S71. They don't have an S71, but they do have an S51, and I could just go through and just show the entire like thing could just do that that make things a lot easier and then if I can it will load go to risk five cores and s51 base so yeah if we look uh, this is uh this is it says RV 64 IMAC so that's basically like our RV64, RISC-V 64, I integer, uh, M multiply and divide, A atomic, C compress. So you can have like, so compress is like the ARM thumb code, you know, the, uh, this, the thumb 16-bit code. No. And then, but like on the, uh, if I can look at the U54, this is RV64GC. Now what's that G? G is I M A, or uh, yeah, I M A. Cause, oh wait, no, it's I M A F. Cause now it has floating point. In fact, let me just go to freaking risk5.org, which is the Risk Five Foundation, or I think they changed their name recently. But it's just the risk, the basically the governing body for Risk Five. Yeah, Risk Five International. This is their website. They have the specs on here. So let me actually go get the specs. Let's see. I say unpri unprivileged specification. So if we check in here, if it'll load. Da -da 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 -da. And if we check, yeah, so F is single position or 32-bit floating point. Uh, D is double precision floating point. So if you take, you know, RV64I, which is the base integer instruction set, instru instruction set 
and then the standard extension for integer multiplication and division, plus the standard extension for atomic instructions, plus the standard extension for single precision floating point, as well as the standard extension for double precision floating point. That is what's all wrapped up in G. And then C, if I can find it again, a standard extension for compressed instructions. So there we go. That's that's what all of that is. There we go. And then there's also the IMG, which is Imagination Technologies. They make the Power VR uh, GPUs, and like this is technically a Power V1 Power VR. Uh, GPU, except they don't call it that because they got into letters, and now letters make things different. And plus, it's a different architecture. Uh, so now it's just IMG A series, and then sometime in the future they're doing they're releasing IMG B series, which some of those will have ray tracing because there's apparently a ray tracing technology that they made called Prism, and that would be freaking awesome. Just imagine a freaking Linux phone with ray tracing. That would be freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So yeah, that's just yeah, and then also this I don't know, like I know that like the like this is basically like the size I just freaking touch my thing and it wiggled. Anyways, like this right here, this is basically the size of an individual pixel, which helps for things like low light. If it's bigger, I have no idea how big to make them. So let's see. I don't know. <coughs> yeah. But yeah, that's just kind of this entire thing. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> there is something in my throat. For crying out loud. There is something stuck in my throat. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, this basically it just sums up everything. <coughs> Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! But yeah, I'll th I'll probably go into more depth on this later, but for now, I think that's good enough. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus! Ugh. I hope to God this ain't Corona. <laughs> Uh, but, um, yeah, that'll be it for, uh, this. And, um, you have an awesome day, and I'm I'm just gonna do something dumb for, so we have time for the end credits, because I don't feel like editing this. <laughs> Raspberry Pi to the face. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, it was like, like, it was in, like, black and white mode for a second. What? 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 Okay, I'm confused. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah, awesome. I'm gonna hit the webcam with my phone.